Now last month your share price spiked briefly above 30 cents. It's now around that 18 cent mark. What caused the spike and why wasn't it able to be maintained? If I'm honest with the market, the, the, the spike came from some public discussion about the patents that we own in the United States and drawing some connections with the, uh, the, what our patent could be used for. We've made it public that our patent uh, for an idea that uses blockchain and tokens to send and receive very rich payment information around the world has the ability to connect both old and new payment networks around the world. So for the transmission of payment messages, we could be connecting members of the SWIFT network with members of the Ripple network. Um, and I think that you know, late in August, we submitted some additional claims to the US Patent Office um, and that received some, some really keen interest from investors around the world. So do you think it's only a matter of time then that more investors grasp the story and the potential? We released a new investor presentation yesterday, which I think does um, a much greater job of explaining in detail that, that framework that I talked to you about before in terms of what are we doing now, what's on the horizon for us next, and then what does our long-term strategy look like? And we have connected all of the dots between our United States patent reporting to regulators and some of the longer term strategies of the business. And, you know, I think it tells a really neat story about some potential significant long term benefits for the company. That was Identity CEO John Raymond. The rights issue opens next Thursday, November the 4th, with shares issued at 16 cents. The company has a market cap above $27 million and share trade opened at 18 cents this morning.